MVC Model View Controller MVC in SAP UI5 The MVC is an integral part of the SAP UI5 development. When creating an SAP UI5 application project, you have to decide whether you want to create the page according to the MVC pattern. Model The model represents data model layer and provides the application data. It also represents the database. Model often includes the associated business logic. The relevant data is provided by the model, so the model is also often called the publisher. The presentation layer is responsible for the display on the device. This is called view. The view receives the user actions but does not process them. It forwards it to the controller. The controller manages one or more views, receives user actions from them and analyzes them. There is one controller for each view. If a data change occurs during a user action, the controller performs the communication with the model. Working in Eclipse environment using Eclipse for developing a SAP UFI application without MVC. So this first example is without MVC. Open Eclipse, select File, New and Other. New wizard opens, type in SAP and select Application Project under SAP UI5 Application Development, choose Next. Provide project name and select sap.ui.commons under Library. Uncheck Create an Initial View checkbox and choose Finish. You can see project created in Eclipse environment and index.html page gets populated. Bootstrap and UI area that is body sections automatically written. You should write code for application section. So we write code for creating a simple button here in this example and then click save. Right click on project, choose run as and web app preview. Preview page opens, click open in external browser icon in top right corner and check result in browser and when you press the button you can see the alert. Now we will see the same example. But here, using Eclipse for developing SAP UFA application with MVC. Open Eclipse, select File, choose New and Other. New wizard opens, type in SAP and select Application Project under SAP UFA Application Development. Choose Next. Provide project name and select sap.ui.commons under Library. Now check create an initial view checkbox and then choose next. Provide view name and select JavaScript under development paradigm section. Choose next. Check summary screen and choose finish. Three files get populated here. So here, while working with MVC in SAP UI5 project, we get three files that is HTML page, the view page and the controller page. So project with MVC, three files get populated as we have seen that is HTML page, the view page and the controller page. Because you have selected the MVC pattern, the appropriate script is already generated automatically in the index.html file for view. The HTML page does not have to be changed. In the view file, the function create content is created automatically. Within this function, 
you define the corresponding UI elements and controller file created with four events that is on init, on before rendering, on after rendering and on exit. First index.html contains the var view about the view and the view page contains about the new UI element. So here in this example that is button, var o button and the controller page contains handle button clicker that is a function index.html contains where view you can see the details about the view page and view page contains where our button that is a new button which we are we are creating here so all the UI elements needs to be determined here in view page and controller page contains handle button click so the function the code for the function will be writing in the controller page. Now click save, right click on project, choose run as and web app preview. Check result in browser and press button to see alert. You will get the same result. So difference between without MVC and with MVC in SAP UEFI application structure. Without MVC pattern only index.html page gets created and you should define corresponding UI elements and the related events. So in this example, creating a new button with a text press me. So the new element which we are going to create has to be mentioned and also the event that is press should be written in HTML page itself. But with MVC pattern, we know that three files gets generated index.html view page and controller page. So in the HTML page, we will have details about the view page. And here, we mention about the view which contains the UI elements and that view in a HTML page itself we will place it in the user interface area that we mention here itself. So ID content we have given. So you are placing this view page in the user interface area. And in the view page you will actually mention the UI elements. So in this example, new button we are creating with text press me. And in the controller page, we'll write the event that is handle button click the function alert. That's about model view controller. Thank you.